Sixth World is gonna be the next Hokage. I know you wish my My name is Six World and I make shadow clones when I'm bored. Welcome back to the channel. Now, as some of y'all did me guys shinobi may already know we got a huge update coming to Naruto the Barato Shinobi Striker, and that's gonna be the anniversary update. So not only will Shinobi Striker be turning four years old in about 16 days, but also there should be another DLC dropping very soon on that anniversary date. Now I know that we just got Tamari, but low key. I mean, it's kind of possible. It's kind of possible. So anything is literally possible with Bandai Namco and Saloy. But we just got to wait and see. But we will definitely be getting a four-year anniversary update. And I'm very excited to talk about it with you guys today. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Because if you don't, I will send my shadow clones after you, okay? So let's get right into this video, all right? Ayy! Now, in past anniversary updates, we got a lot of cool things. We got the Naruto kid hairstyle, the kid Sasuke hairstyle, the kid Sasuke outfit, the kid Naruto outfit. But last year, we're not gonna talk about last year. That was, uh, that was, uh, that was, that was crazy. I think we literally got, like, three esoteric scrolls last year for our anniversary update. It was embarrassing remember in shipping in when gara and Dator started throwing hands and then after gara got dropped off they sat on his dead body after i felt like bandai namco just dropped us all off and then just sat on our dead bodies like that's how i felt but low-key this year so far for this season five pass all the dlc updates have been amazing beautiful perfect damn near so things are looking promising this year so far for this anniversary update now what will bandai namco and saloy actually bring to this update i'm not really sure but maybe they'll cave in and give us the storm 3 treatment maybe we'll get a goku gi this year actually like they tweeted out a couple years ago or maybe we'll even get the kid gara hairstyle along with his outfit or even better new maps new game modes anything is legit possible right now and i'm very excited to see what they bring to the game for the four year anniversary update i am so excited excited for this you guys don't even understand how crazy this is gonna be now you guys already know that when they do update this game jutsus do get buffed they do get patched a lot of things happen i mean look at mudwall if you told anyone two years ago that you run mudwall they're gonna block you now it's one of the most amazing jutsu in the game they made it so fire i love mudwall now but also sometimes jutsu get ruined <coughs> come on <coughs> say what you want about shinobi striker but at the end of the day the dev team is constantly balancing out this game and i really do appreciate that especially for an anime game to be updated as much as this game does you really gotta appreciate what you have my guy because it's really really cool that they are doing this still in 2022 but there is a jutsu out there right now that i believe should get buffed in the next anniversary update and that's gonna be the shark Sharingan. Now, as y'all already know, the Sharingan in the game versus in the anime are two completely different jutsu. They work completely different. Eh kind of so in shinobi striker the sharingan works as a substitution and you are able to evade any attack that is directed towards you. i mean having another substitution is cool and all but it's a sharingan i want more out of that you know but the sharingan in the anime <laughs> face ass but seriously there's a reason why they call kakashi the copycat ninja and he's the one that gives us the sharingan in the game wait what you're running around with early access let me just use my Sharingan to copy that real quick. Let me that real quick so if they are to update or buff the sharingan in the next update then i truly believe then it should make it where the sharingan copies your opponent's ninjutsu or taijutsu we've seen sasuke do it with rock lee we have seen it time and time again where kakashi copies ninjutsu even sasuke did it with rock lee's taijutsu so it should definitely be the same way in shinobi striker now how exactly would this work it'd be very easy and very simple you activate your sharingan and whatever slot you use it on you can either copy the enemy's last used jutsu or copy the slot that they're using that jutsu on either way it would work great but i prefer the way of them copying the last jutsu used like imagine some weirdo just spamming hazan strike back to back to back and then you use your sharingan and use it back on him that would be that'd be lit i would love that i would love to do that now personally i think that if the sharingan has the substitution ability plus copying an ability i think that's a little too broken so maybe there could be a second input it's already known that a lot of jutsu are starting to get that second input option so giving the sharingan that option as well to have a second input where you copy the ninjutsu of the opponent would be really good and i think it'd make the jutsu way more better online not saying that it's not good right now but 
just having that extra substitution isn't enough for me. I want to feel like I'm actually in the anime using a Sharingan to copy someone's ninjutsu and firing it right back at them. Something else that concerns me is how long do you have to use that jutsu when you copy it? Will there be like a 15 to 20 second cooldown before the jutsu actually resets to the Sharingan again? How long would we have to actually use that jutsu that we did just copy? Or will it just be there permanently? Me personally, just give me 15 good seconds to actually use that jutsu if i don't use it in 15 seconds or if i do then just reset the sharingan cooldown time and then we're good you know because if i don't have that option then i have to be really careful of whose jutsu that i copy because if i have it for the entire game then you know that's just lame so having the option to reset it every 15 seconds would be pretty cool and also like i said earlier if you also have that option to use your substitution as a sharingan plus copying an ninjutsu that's gonna be broken now if the sharingan does get this type of buff there is one more thing that does concern me and that's gonna be that the attack class can learn every jutsu in the game <laughs> What do you mean by that? And that is scary because the attack class is one of the most versatile classes in the game since launch. So imagine one of the most OP classes in the game having the option to learn every ninjutsu that's in the game right now. That is scary to think about. But then again, Sharingan users are not somebody you want to play with. They are scary, my guy. So it does kind of make sense to make it as scary as it sounds. But then again, making one class and only one class learn that is kind of broken it is kind of it's kind of crazy you know what i'm saying it, it, it's broke it's broken it's, it's broken my it's broken it's broken but what if they gave every class the sharingan would that make up for it would that make it better that every class now can learn technically every jutsu that's in the game eh, i'm not really sure about that because again everybody should be able to learn the sharingan because there's different vr masters that have the sharingan ability so it does make sense to give every class the sharingan and giving every class that sharingan ability might low-key balance the game even more because now you can copy other classes jutsu that might balance it but it also might make everybody run the sharingan so i'm not really sure about that but it does sound like a pretty cool idea to add a bonus effect to the Sharingan that allows you to copy Ninjutsu and Taijutsu in the game. It does sound really cool. It does sound more anime related, but it might be broken. I'm just not sure. But you guys let me know in the comment section below how you guys feel about this. Do you guys think that adding that effect will break the game or balance it out even more? And do you think that every class should get a Sharingan or do you think it should only be for the attack class and attack class only and trust when i say i know that this is gonna be a hot take but i really want to see the sharingan get buffed in the next update but i want to see how they buff it but if you guys have any more good ideas definitely comment below and let's talk about it in the comment section below anyways that being said if you haven't already make sure you guys like comment and subscribe i'd really appreciate it that being said though man team six i am out all my six soldiers salute gang shit my guy like high school again I know your love is pretend Can't even tell who's my friend I know you wish for my end